Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Tuesday, it is February the 27th, and we're going to pick up here in the wonderful and encouraging Word of God. As we do picking up in 1 Thessalonians, and Ed, this is going to be a tremendous journey. Uh, the major theme of these two books, 1 and 2 Thessalonians, is all about uh, the glorious return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But it also explains uh, what happened seven years before the glorious return of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the glorious rapture of the church and bringing us into his presence and the marriage supper of the Lamb taking place in that period of time and us being united to Christ in, 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 in its fullness. And oh, I can't wait till that day. We have been betrothed and we're going to be wed soon, very soon. The, the consummation of our glorious re relationship and union with Christ is going to be fulfilled very, very soon. But Paul uh, is writing to these uh, Thessalonians, Thessalonians, as we saw uh, yesterday, there. I mean, this is a very church early on in its beginnings. These, 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 uh, these have come out of the the um, the Jewish uh, rituals and r religion, and they've come into faith and faith alone in Jesus Christ. And and because of that, though, God is now transforming their lives. They are they are showing to be they are showing themselves to be fruitful in what is supposed to happen in every believer's life. And so as we pick up in verse 3, he's, he's telling them that he, he gives thanks always to God, making mention of them in their prayers. Why? And here's what he says. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith, your labor of love, and your patience of hope. And so uh, this is a triad that, uh, that Paul uses over and over and over again throughout many of his books. You see it. Uh, the greatest of these is faith, hope, and love. And, uh, and, 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 of course, you know, you, you, you'll see it in other places where Paul writes. And uh, it's, it, it's the fullness of the Trinity being worked out in our lives in this moment. And so I pray that you have this Trinity in you when he talks about the work of faith. The work of faith. The work of faith is turning from the things of this world and turning to the true and living God. It's working out my faith. I'm turning away from the things of this world. I'm turning to the, to the living God. I'm trusting him. Uh, it's, I don't live by sight anymore. I, I live by faith and I trust in, in, in the living God, the one who provided me salvation through Jesus Christ. And, um, and the labor of love is to serve the living true God. We, we love him because he first loved us. And then out of that love, as he tells us, because we're to go and to love one another as Christ has loved us. And so Paul says, listen, I'm writing to you this letter because it's such a joy because I'm remembering your work of faith. I'm remembering your, your labor of love and how you're just pouring yourself before the God of heaven and earth and allowing him to work out in your life. And it's evident because of what's happening around you as well. They were being very impactful uh, with the gospel message. They were being very impactful uh, in loving one another and others seeing that and saying, man, what is going on here? I, 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 need, I need that in my life as well. And so he says, man, I'm remembering without ceasing your work of faith and your labor of love. But then he says, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, you, you believe and know with all of your heart that he's coming back soon. And while things may be difficult, it's not perfect and not, not the way we want it. But the hope is that it's going to be all set right, that Christ is coming, the king is coming. He's going to set up his rule. He's going to set up his reign. And we're going to live with him forever and ever and ever without all of these problems. And so he says, man, I'm, I'm thanking God for your work of faith, your labor of love, and your hope and patience in the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that is what this book is about a lot. It not only uh, gives us instructions on how to live in the work of faith, how to live in the labor of love, but also uh, why we should be patient because the reality of the of the truth that Christ is coming, and so I pray that this triad of faith uh, and um, salvation is working out in your life. That you have the work of faith, you have the labor of love, and the patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of God our Father. And then in verse four he says, "Knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God, knowing." Uh, and so he says, you ought to know that you are belong to God because this, this is, that is coming out of your life 
can only come into the lives of those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Only those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ have a true work of faith. Only those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ have a true labor of love. Only those who have hope in Jesus Christ have the hope of his glorious return. They're not freaking out about what's going on in the world. They're absolutely hopeful about the future, regardless of what they see around them, because we don't live by sight. We live by faith. And in light of that, because of what, how God has loved us, we want to go and to love on others. And so I pray these, are, these three are evident in your life, like they were evident in the Thessalonians' life, and that it could only, it could, this could be said about you as it was said about them. And I'm praying that that is what is said about me too. Now, I realize not everybody understands my work of faith, my labor of love, and my hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I realize that not everyone is going to agree with, with, uh, with, with what I believe the Bible uh, is firmly um, declared and, and what we should stand upon. But they ought to know that I'm walking in faith, that I'm loving uh, as I have been loved, and I am hopeful, hopeful of the glorious return of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray these are yours too. I pray there are evidence so that, that points and lets you know that you are beloved, elected of God. So go forth today mightily in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged.